This, this is Ash's Corner. I wanted to talk about what's in um, Geronte Davis's future for uni for a uh, unification bout. And I, I came across the WBA champ right now, which is um, Jezreel Corrales. He is 21 and 1 with 8 KOs. And he is the WBA champ. Um, he has a reach of 67 inches. And he's six. He's five six. I'm sorry. He's 25 years old right now, and he is a southpaw. He just signed under Golden Girl Promotions on April 12th this year. Um, he says with with Golden Girl Promotions, he will be the best junior weight champion in the world, which is saying a lot. <laughs> you know, I seen uh, I seen a couple of the couple of these guys fights. You know, I'm not gonna uh, post any footage. You know, it's easy to find if you just look up his name on the, uh, YouTube and look up his highlights. You can see it for yourself. But um, Eric Gomez, which is the uh, the president for for Golden Girl, says that they are looking to fight uh, Salido or Loman Kachiko or any of the title holders at that time. But um, Corrales has fought all of his fights in Panama. Panama is where he's from. He's fought every single fight in Panama besides his last two fights. He went to Japan to get his title, and he went back to, to Japan to fight the exact, the exact same dude to defend his title. Um, since then, he, has, he hasn't had a fight. But... His loss, his only loss came in in 2009 by by unanimous decision in a four-round fight, um, which was his, only his second fight of his professional career that he lost. His uh, KO percentage is 35%. And just like I said, I watched the highlights in about two fights. I watched two fights, um, some... Uh, some some fight I don't remember what the guy name is, and I watched his second his last fight in Japan, and he you know he has he has a pretty good left hook, and he uses the shoulder roll a lot. Now saying all of that, saying everything that I just said and hearing everything that I just said, it sounds like it seems like to me that this is Golden Girls Javante Tank Davis. Like, this is their Geronte Tank Davis, you know. And when they named the fighters that they would like to fight and like like to be matched up against, they didn't even name, they didn't even say Geronte Tank Davis. Like, they don't have no inspiration or no reason to fight him. But, I mean, Tank Davis has a title. He had the title and got the title in January. This happened in... Um, April, I believe he signed with, uh, yeah, he, April 12th, he signed with uh, Golden Girl. So, why aren't you even considering Javante Davis a next option? It doesn't even matter because if Floyd is as smart as I think he is when it comes to this fight game, then he should be looking towards him to unify. First, he should be looking at Corrales. I mean, um, Corrales to unify first, because if you ask me, he's the easier fight in between the other three people that have uh, titles, which is um, Lomen Conchico, and I believe the guy, the other guy, name is Miguel. I can't remember his last name right now, but yeah, I mean, you're next on on the radar, dude. If you ask me. But not immediately they should fight. I'm just saying the first person he unified with should be this guy and get the WBA from him because it's, I don't see any way of him beating Javante Davis. I guess that's why he kept they they sat there and talked talked um Corrales head off to get him to sign that paper and just never said Javante Davis name like like we'll we will protect you. Okay, but Loma Kachiko would tear that ass up too if you ask me. I mean, the the boy can't hit honestly. I mean, if you if if your knockout percentage is thirty five percent, and you fighting Javante Davis, I believe his knockout percentage is ninety four percent. He would get that ass handed to him, and he knows it. I mean, shoulder roll and all, he'll get that ass handed to him. So I won't be surprised if his first his first unification match isn't with this Corrales guy. Then it's going to be Miguel. And then in the future, it's going to be 
Lo Mikachiko. I see all of these fights happening. I see him fighting Corrales probably next year or, um, yeah, probably next year. Or maybe 2000, the beginning of 2019, who knows. But um, I really think the uh, the plan is to be the um, undisputed champion at 130. But I do see him moving up to 135 after that. But let me know what you guys think. And I'm not going to say I told you so if the first time he unifies is going to be for the WBA. Okay? And I know he's going to win this fight. All right, Corrales cannot beat him. Southpaw against Southpaw, but Corrales has no power. And he's not as fast as Javante Davis. I mean, as far as the IQ goes, we will see in the near, in the near future. I know it's going to happen. But always like and subscribe to the channel. This has been Ash's Corner.